Leonard, it's 6 p.m. and I just woke up. Can't believe I overslept. Where are you and your mom? Oh, hey, Emma. Mom and I decided not to wait for you. We left for the karaoke night already. Why didn't you wake me up? I can't believe I slept through the entire day. Well, I thought you could use some extra rest. Actually, I added some sleeping pills to your drinks last night. It helped you catch up on your sleep. What? Sleeping pills? Why would you do that? Emma, I've been feeling bored lately, and this trip to Seychelles is more about me and mom. If I hadn't added those pills to your drink, I'm sure you would have tagged along. And that's the last thing I want right now. Leonard, I paid for this entire trip. You didn't contribute anything, and now you're telling me you're using it for your own escape? Well, yeah, I needed a break. You've been a bit much lately. Break? You don't just sabotage someone else's plan and take off on a trip they paid for. Leonard, I trusted you. Look, I'm getting tired of this chat. Mom and I are having a great time here. I don't want to go offline now. Fine. Have your fun with your mom. I'm sure I will find some other way to have a blast too. I doubt that. I'm afraid this trip might turn into a disaster for you. What do you mean by that? Why would it be a disaster for me? You'll find out. I don't want to spoil my time with constant nagging. Leonard, this is not fair. I deserve an explanation. I'm done explaining. Mom and I are signing off. Enjoy the hotel room. I can't believe you used me like this. This is so wrong, Leonard. How could you do this? I trusted you with everything, and you used my trust to sneak around like this? And to think I thought this trip was a chance for us to reconnect. I can't believe I paid for a getaway for you and your mom. Look, Emma, it's not like that. I just needed some time away from our routine. Mom and I thought a change of scenery would be good. A change of scenery? You could have talked to me about it. We're supposed to be partners, Leonard. You don't just drug someone and run off with their plans. You know what hurts the most? I thought we were in this together. But now, I feel like a fool. Emma, it's not like that. I just needed a break. You're blowing this out of proportion. Out of proportion? Leonard, you fundamentally betrayed my trust. I don't know how I'm going to get past this. We can talk about it whenever I see you. What do you mean by whenever you see me? Look, I need to go. Mom and I are having a great time and I don't want to ruin it with this argument. Go then. Enjoy your time. I'll figure out what to do with the mess you've left behind. Leonard, where the hell are you and your mom? I woke up to find my credit cards missing. What the heck happened last night? Surprise, surprise! I told you we wouldn't be coming back to the hotel. What'd you expect? You can't just vanish without a word, especially after I explicitly asked you to come back. Where did you even go? Well, I took your credit cards. No point beating around the bush. What? You stole them? That's low, Leonard. You had no right. Call it what you want. I needed them, and you weren't exactly willing to share. And my passport, too? Seriously? Yeah, I took that as well. I gave you those sleeping pills so you wouldn't cause a scene. This is insane. I'm calling the cops on you. You can't just take my stuff and expect to get away with it. Go ahead. I made a friend last night at karaoke. She'll hide me well, and the police will never find me. This trip was supposed to be about us, Leonard. I can't believe you're off flirting with some girl. You're free to flirt too, Emma. Maybe you'll find someone who doesn't mind sharing. What? Now is not the time for your nonsense. What's really going on? Why are you acting like this? Fine, I'll spell it out. I want a divorce. My feelings for you died and I met someone else. Catherine. What? Are you kidding me right now? We're on a trip together. Catherine is young, beautiful, and at 26, she owns a spa. She's everything I want. I've made more money than you ever will, and you know it. This isn't about money. Your constant belittling is part of the reason I fell out of love with you. That's all in your head. I've been a good wife, and now you drop this bomb on me? There is more. You don't get along with my mom, and Catherine does. They even danced together yesterday. Your mom started hating me for no reason. Don't put that on me. Just return my cards and passport. 
I didn't come with any money of my own, so those cards are staying with me. Leonard, you've just ruined everything. I can't believe this is happening. We were supposed to be building our life together. Believe it or not, it's over between us. I'm moving on with Catherine. This is the biggest mistake of your life, Leonard. Good luck with Catherine and her spa. You'll need it. I can't believe you're throwing everything away for this. Hey, Emma. It's Catherine. I bet you didn't expect to hear from me. Catherine? Who? Wait, how do you know me? Oh, sweetie. I'm the reason Leonard's having so much fun right now. You must be feeling pretty lonely. Wait, what? Who the hell are you? And what are you talking about? I'm the girl Leonard's with. You know, the one who's keeping him entertained. You're the reason he left me stranded at the hotel? Who the hell do you think you are? Honey, I'm the one Leonard chose. You lost a rich and handsome man like him. Must sting, huh? Leonard has no money. He's a thief who stole my cards. You're playing with fire. Oh, poor you. Leonard told me a different story. He said you tried to steal his card during this trip. What? That's a lie. He took my cards on passport and left me stranded. He's a liar and a thief. Nice try, Emma. I'm not buying your sob story. Leonard's not coming back to you. You're in for a rude awakening, Catherine. He's using you. Right, because you're the innocent one here. Leonard's having a blast without you. I hope you enjoy being with a guy who resorts to stealing. You deserve each other. Save your drama, Emma. Leonard's not coming back. Take the next flight home. We'll see about that. Can't hide forever. Leonard, I'm in trouble. I need my credit card urgently. Something's wrong with me. I ate something and my lips are swollen. I can barely breathe. I need to go to the hospital. Send me my passport and credit card now. Oh, what a coincidence. Now you need my attention? <laughs> nice try, Emma. I'm not falling for your cheap tricks. Leonard, I swear, this is serious. Look, I'll send you a picture of my swollen lips. I can't breathe properly. Swollen lips won't kill you, Emma. You're exaggerating as usual. Leonard, please. I'm scared. I need help. Just send me my credit card and I'll handle the rest. Emma, if I return your card, my trip becomes boring and I could lose Catherine. She'll leave if she finds out I have no money. Your trip is more important than my health? I can't believe you're doing this. Look, if you desperately need money, sell some of your jewelry or something. I don't have time for this. Leonard, I can't believe you're being so heartless. I thought you cared about me. You're ruining my fun time, Emma. Catherine's already angry that I'm talking to you. I have to block you now. Leonard, please. I need help. Don't do this. I can't believe you're abandoning me in this situation. Goodbye, Emma. I have better things to do. Leonard, I demand you send me my credit card and passport immediately. This is not a request. It's a necessity. Stop the drama, Emma. I'm not buying it. This is not drama. This is a cry for help. I'm genuinely scared for my life. You're always finding a way to make everything about you. I'm not falling for it. Leonard, this is not about me. This is about my health. How can you be so heartless? Heartless? You're the one trying to ruin my trip and my chance with Catherine. Catherine is more important to you than your own wife's well-being? Catherine is important. Yes, she wouldn't understand if I abandoned the trip and come running to you. What about us, Leonard? What about the vows we took? Vows? Those were just words. Things change, Emma. Leonard, I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. We promise to be there for each other. Well, I'm not there for you now, am I? I have to go. Catherine's waiting. Leonard, please. Just think about what you're doing. I need you. No, Emma. I don't need this drama. I'm blocking you now. Goodbye. Leonard, I demand. Hey, Emma. What do you want, Margaret? 
Just checking in on you, dear. Heard you had a little accident, lol. Accident? You mean when I got sick? By the way, what's funny? The way you panicked as if it was something life-threatening. People don't die from swollen lips, you know. It was quite serious. I am still on medication. You think that's the only thing that bothered me? You and your son just disappeared. We're touring Seychelles, Emma. Can't be babysitting you all the time. Babysitting? I was alone, sick in a foreign country, and you two didn't care. Relax. We'll be back at the hotel in a few days. We can all leave together then. It's too late for that. What's gotten into you? You stole my cards, my passport, and now you act like everything's fine. It wasn't that serious. We'll return to the hotel soon. No, Margaret, I'm not there. I got back to the United States a few days ago. What? You left without us? You snitch! Can't believe you thought I would wait behind. I called the embassy and got an emergency passport. I'm done with you and Leonard. You should have waited for us. I've waited long enough for your fake concern. You ungrateful little thing. And guess what? I blocked the credit card Leonard stole. What? You had no right. This is my card in question. I finally got over the shock, and that's when I remembered I could actually block the card. I should have done it sooner. You conniving little devil! Leonard is going to hate you for this. Trust me. L O L. At this point, I sincerely don't care about his feelings, and that's not all. There are more surprises for you too. What surprises? What have you done? Leave me alone, Margaret. I don't owe you any explanations. Just go back to your tour and leave my DM. You're infuriating. Maybe, but at least I'm not a thief. You'll regret this, Emma. Doubt it. Goodbye, Margaret. Emma, what the hell? Why'd you block the credit card? I can't believe you do something like that. So you finally decided to unblock me. And please, stop acting like a saint. I've always known the devil lives inside of you. Blocking the card is just a tiny taste of what you deserve. Devil? Are you kidding me? You're the one who's been hiding horns under that innocent act. You're a terrifying fellow, Emma. Terrifying? Look who's talking. You stole my cards, refused to help when I needed it the most, and let's not forget your little affair. I needed the cash. What else was I supposed to do? Beg you for it? And about that affair, you pushed me to the edge. I have no money now. Do you want me to be stranded? Oh, cry me a river. Sell that fancy wristwatch in the expensive jewelry your mom stole from me. I saw some of it in her bag the other day. Well, I don't have any of that right now. Someone stole from me and mom. So the thief does get robbed too. <laughs> I'm stuck here without money for a flight back home. Can't you at least help me out? Help you? You've got to be kidding. Your problems are not my concern anymore. Figure it out yourself. Emma, please. I'm in a tight spot here. I promise I'll make it up to you. Make it up? The only thing you'll make up is another excuse. I have better things to do than worry about you. You're heartless, Emma. I can't believe you're leaving me stranded like this. Heartless? You're the one who shattered my trust. And don't worry, I'm sure you'll find a way to manipulate someone else into helping you out. This is not fair. I'm really in a tough situation. Life's not fair, Leonard. Maybe next time. You'll think twice before betraying someone who cared about you. Emma, I messed up. Okay, I admit it. Can we just talk about this? There's nothing left to talk about. I've wasted enough time on you. Goodbye, Leonard. And oh, the cops are after you. What do you mean, Emma? Emma, I just got deported. I can't believe you reported to the police. We were humiliated, and it's all your fault. Oh please, Leonard, don't blame me for your mess. You've always been trouble. 
If you hadn't reported me or, or blocked the card, none of this would have happened. You've ruined my travel history. Your travel history? What about ruining my trust? That aside, I just got to her house, and there's a new couple there? They almost called the cops on me. What'd you do? Oh, the house? It's not our house anymore. I sold it. Sold it? Why would you sell our house? You've gone too far this time. Correction, Leonard. It's my house. The mortgage is in my name, and I've been the one paying it. Where are my things, then? I want my stuff. Your things? Well, I sold everything. What did you expect? You've been spending money on my credit card that you stole. That's the only way to get it back. You sold everything? I'm broke, Emma. How could you sell my things? I don't care, Leonard. You brought this on yourself. Maybe next time you'll think twice before stealing from me. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I have nothing now. Nothing? You had everything and chose to throw it away. Now deal with the consequences. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Not my problem anymore, Leonard. I've already filed for divorce. You can pick up the papers at your best friend's house. Divorce? You're divorcing me? After everything we've been through? After everything you put me through? I'm done, Leonard. I won't let you destroy my life any longer. Besides, you wanted the divorce first. Have you forgotten, Dumbo? This is unfair, Emma. You can't just leave me with nothing. Life's not fair, Leonard. Maybe you'll learn that now. Goodbye. Emma, you can't just cut me off like this. We were supposed to be a team. A team? Teams don't consist of thieves and liars, Leonard. You made your choices. I need help, Emma. I'm stranded, broke, and alone. Can't you find it in your heart to assist me? Find it in my heart? Leonard, you emptied my heart with your betrayal. I'm done being your savior. Please, Emma. I I'll change. I, I promise. Just to help me get back on my feet. Change? It's a bit too late for that now, don't you think? You had plenty of chances. I don't know where to go. I I'm lost. Maybe you should have thought about that before your actions led us to this point. How do you feel seeing me beg you? Happy, right? G guess what? Forget about everything I just said. I'll be fine without you. I, I can't believe you would make me beg and watch me suffer. Get lost, Emma. You'll never hear from me again. Emma, I'm not signing those divorce papers. I would never do that. I, I think we can work things out. I I'm ready to play my part. Leonard, it's too late for that. I've seen you for the ingrate and terrible person that you are. I want nothing to do with you. Emma, please. I'm desperate here. Can't we at least talk and try to fix things? Talk? You should have thought about that before all the lies and betrayal. I'm done. What about Catherine, the girl from the karaoke? She dumped me the moment she found out I'm broke. She's not who I thought she was. Catherine? The one you cheated on me with? Real classy, Leonard. What happened to the spa she supposedly owned? She never owned a spa. It was all a lie. She even got into a physical fight with my mom and bit her lip. She's crazy. And now that she's gone, you suddenly realize you want a homely and decent woman like me? Emma, you're the one I want. My life makes no sense without you. Leonard, you don't get it. I deserve better. I don't want a man who only realizes his value after losing me. I messed up, Emma. I admit it. But people change, right? Can't you give me another chance? People may change, but some things are irreversible. You had your chance, Leonard. It's over. Emma, I, I love you. I can't live without you. Love? If you loved me, you wouldn't have done all those things. Now you have to face the consequences. Please, Emma, don't do this. I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. It's too late for promises. I've decided to handle things differently. 
You'll see me in court. Court? Come on, Emma. We don't need to involve the courts. Can't we settle this between us? Settlement? You had your chance for a peaceful resolution, but you chose a different path. Now, you'll face the consequences of your actions. Emma, I never thought it would come to this. I regret everything. Regret is not enough, Leonard. I thought we could work things out. You thought wrong. I'm done trying to fix what you keep breaking. It's time for me to move on. This is so messed up, Emma. Can't you at least give me a chance to explain myself? Explain? Leonard, actions speak louder than words, and your actions have spoken volumes. I'm sorry, Emma. I messed up. Please don't do this. Sorry doesn't undo the damage you've caused. I won't let you hold me hostage in this toxic relationship any longer. Leonard gave me a tough time during the divorce proceedings. He failed to show up at the hearing a couple times. After several back and forth, we eventually got divorced. Leonard is yet to get a decent job since he was so used to depending on me. It took a while before he showed me his true colors. Anyway, I am glad that we are no longer together. Iris, did you finish the work that I gave you? You better have, or you'll be fired. You old grandma. Hi, Karen. I'm sorry, what was it that you asked me to do? Are you serious? I guess it's true that once you turn 65, your memory deteriorates significantly. I told you to go clean the office kitchen. Have you forgotten already? Isn't it your job to clean up the office kitchen this week? I thought I said that to you earlier when you asked me. No! My job is your job. I'm not sure if I follow what you are saying. I don't expect an old grandma like you to understand how this works. Why did the company hire an old, useless person like you in the first place? Starting a new job at the age of 65 is such a joke. You shouldn't even bother applying for jobs. I know that my age bothers you, Karen. Especially since I'm new, and I'm 40 years older than you. Yeah, I can't believe I have to babysit someone who is older than my parents. What is wrong with this company? That is just how it is sometimes. But I think there is a misunderstanding. You are not my supervisor or anything, Karen. Misunderstanding? I joined the company before you did. So technically, you do work for me. It's true that you may have seniority over me, but... That doesn't mean I work for you. Just think about what you're saying. You're being unreasonable. Unreasonable? Clearly, you don't understand. This is why companies shouldn't hire old grandmas like you. You can't even do your job without me. What do you mean? Old people like you just don't know how to use computers. That's why I always have to help you. Well, I honestly don't recall you helping me at all. You incompetent and forgetful sack of wrinkles. Just do as you're told. Or why don't you just quit already? I don't have any problems with using the computer at work. That's what you think. But that's not how I see it. Which is why I give you some of my tasks as well for practice. You should thank me. I'm not following. I'm saying that you don't know how to use the computer. So just do as I ask, okay? It's not like you're qualified to do anything else anyways. Karen, you're being rude. And I was given my own tasks to do that keep me quite busy. You can't just push your work onto me. I wasn't. I was showing you how to do your job. You should be grateful. Grateful? I don't remember you showing me anything, as a matter of fact. That's because you're old! And forgetful! I'm just being honest. I tried my best to teach you. But I guess you just don't see it that way. Teaching? Yeah, I still don't know what you're talking about. This is precisely why I hate dealing with old people like you. Have some respect for your supervisor. I showed you where everything was in the office, didn't I? You forgot about that too? That I remember. But it was just that one time. Plus, I don't know if I would consider that as teaching. How have you lived this long and not understood the meaning of that word? You lack basic common sense. Is that right? Whatever. Anyway, what was it that you wanted to tell me? 
I wasted a lot of my precious time showing you how to do things. So you'll have to pay me for my time. What? Just $500 for now is fine. You should be able to afford that, right? Why do I have to pay you? Because I taught you so many things. Education isn't free, you know. We're not living in communist Russia. Um, hmm. But anyway, training at this company is free. Why do I have to pay you? Because you are incompetent. It's a hassle to teach someone like you. And stressful, too. But I still try regardless. So pay up. If you don't pay me by the next payday, I'll tell the CEO that you're a hopeless employee. Are you threatening me? That's what you get for starting a new job at the age of 65. You were probably so terrible at your previous job that you couldn't save up enough money to retire. That's why you have no choice but to work at your age. Is that what you think of me? Well, I don't care about what you think, but I'm not paying you anything. Aren't you stubborn? If you don't want to pay, then quit. It's not like you're the one calling the shots around here. Watch that mouth of yours. We don't need you here. If you were gone tomorrow, no one would even notice. So just quit already. Well, I was hired as a board member, so... What? You really don't know, do you? Well, now you do. Maybe don't be so arrogant in the future. What do you mean you were hired as a board member? I retired from my previous company with a distinguished reputation. I wasn't a nobody like you carelessly assumed. Your CEO, Virginia, asked me personally to come join this company. So that's why I am here. The CEO asked you personally? I was originally looking forward to my retirement life. But working here has turned out to be pretty fun too. I'm confused. By the way, I worked in the IT industry for my entire career. So I think I know a thing or two about computers. I'm not buying it. A grandma like you was hired as a board member? That is ridiculous. The company asked me to join and to help them improve its operations. You call me old, but most of the board members are my age. The youngest one being in his 50s. I mean, yeah, I can see that. You look down on me because I'm old. But actually, I'm not just older than you. I'm also your boss. Who's the one that doesn't have common sense? It's not about common sense. I didn't know, so it wasn't my fault. Don't try to avoid the problem here. You really need to watch your manners when you talk to people. I'm 40 years older than you. You should at least have some respect for people that are significantly older than you. But I thought you were just a part-time employee. That is not an excuse. It doesn't matter what you think. You need to learn your business manners. I have manners. I've been working here for two years already. I know what to say and what not to say. So you thought you could get away with being rude to me? Just because you thought that I was a part-time employee? That's how the world works. I thought it was finally my time. Well, I won't say that kind of stuff to you anymore. That is, if you really are a board member. I see. So you change how you act based on the person's status. No, I don't. That is not true at all. It sure seems that way. You only respect me now because you know I am your boss. But before that, you looked down on me. Not to mention that you treated me terribly. That's not true. This is just a misunderstanding. I think maybe I wasn't clear. Looks like we need to properly train our employees. What? You've really helped me, though. What are you talking about? The reason why I was hired in the first place is to terminate employees like you, Karen, and to focus on employee training and development. So you are the perfect example. What do you mean, employees like me? What are you trying to say? Employees that lack skills and business etiquette. What? Me? Who else? I'm talking about you. I suspect that you may have also lied to the company. What's with the accusation? What did I lie about? The company hired you because of your Spanish skills. But you refused to go to the international department. Isn't that a bit weird? What is so weird about that? I don't think it is weird at all. I just thought I was more suitable for the administration role. Is that so? Well then, 
I'll make sure to transfer you to international sales. What? You can put your Spanish skills to good use there. Wait, let's not make any rash decisions here. Why is that? Don't tell me that you actually lied about your Spanish skills just to get into the company. Of course not. It's just a bit sudden, that's all. Plus, I like working as an administrator. It's not like you're doing your job anyway. You just throw your tasks onto other people. And then play on your phone all day. So basically, you're not working at all. No, that's not true. You got it all wrong. I've been observing you for the past month. But your messages today confirmed my analysis of you. No need to explain anymore. What do you mean, analysis? I still can't believe that you asked me to pay you. Wait. You've misunderstood. That was just a joke. A joke? Well, it seemed like a well-thought-out joke. I wouldn't be surprised if you tried that with other people. Of course not! I wouldn't actually do such a thing. Well, we will find out the truth about your Spanish skills when we transfer you to international sales. Wait, what? If we find out that you don't have any Spanish skills, I am afraid you will be forced to leave voluntarily. You mean I would have to quit? But I finally found a job. It's easy work and the environment is great. I don't want to quit. You are in this situation because of that attitude of yours. If you don't want to leave, then you better start doing your work. This is what you get for skipping your work duties. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Please forgive me. I don't want to get transferred to a different department. You don't have to worry if you actually have the skills. Skills? If you are not up for the task, then I'm afraid you are done at this company. Now you know what it's like to be on the other end. I look forward to your performance. Karen was bullying Iris because of her old age. She even went so far as to try and blackmail Iris, telling her she'd get her fired if she didn't pay her. However, Karen got herself in trouble, and she almost got fired herself. To be honest, Karen got off very lightly considering what she did. In the end, Karen was transferred to international sales, but as expected, she didn't have any Spanish skills. It was a big problem as she lied about her skills to get into the company. She was asked to either leave the company voluntarily or to work on improving her own skills. As a result, she started from the bottom and was given the most basic tasks and chores to do. She was also assigned to a new section with a very strict boss. Furthermore, she started taking Spanish lessons at her own expense. Karen was desperately trying to improve her Spanish skills and to prove herself at work. Iris was very pleased with her own contribution to the company. The company also praised Iris for her outstanding work. The employee training and development project will continue in the office. Iris is confident in her ability to bring good change to the company. Namely, to transform unmotivated employees to productive ones. Which will then result in an overall increase in the company's performance.